has to be uh, Johor Winger. I think you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, Ari Feyman. But not far behind him, it has to be Faisal Halim and... Uh yep. Mm. From the Malaysian League? Oh, look, they, they just keep getting stronger, don't they, every year? I think they still, under, what, they won the league undefeated? I, correct, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That's a, that's a massive achievement. I think only Arsenal did that in the, in the EPL, I think. Uh, not many teams in world football can, uh, can go all the way and, uh, and, and win it undefeated. So uh, that's credit to them. Uh, they, keep on, uh, they keep on getting stronger. I think they innovate a lot with foreigners. Uh, they don't sort of keep foreigners for too long. I think two, three years, and then they're changing them. But the recruitment has been good. The, the local players, as you know, they're all international, so they should be strong. Yeah, look, they're getting stronger. But I don't think Tringanu or Kedar, Pahang and Slango are too far off also. It really depends on the recruitment, and I think they've recruited very well also this year, watching a few games, uh, more than a few games in MSL. So the competition is getting stronger. Yes. I, I think he's a technical. He's got different names. Uh, uh, every year they give him a different name, but definitely he's he, yeah he's done a, he's done a yes of course of course. Uh, I mean uh, we have not only teammates, long time teammates, we're friends, and uh, he's doing a fabulous job there at JDT uh, as one of the TDs or sporting directors or I, I don't know what names they they give him these days. But yes, he's doing a great job, and uh, I think I know he's enjoying himself uh, there, and he's in he's very very valuable. Obviously, his experience, playing experience with JDT uh, during my time, uh, you know, I mean myself, I know Asian, Malaysian football very very well. Not only uh, playing time, but also my time with Astro uh, as a pundit for for almost ten years. So uh, yeah, look, I know the league very well, and I think that's the advantage. Hopefully, I can bring my players. Uh, for Wednesday night's game because a lot of them have never played in, in the AFC Cup. So hopefully we'll be ready for, for, for the big challenge against Tringanu. My last question is uh, one of uh, Australian player, Giancarlo Wright, will play for KLCT. Yeah. Uh, help KL to reach the final AFC Cup. Yeah. Maybe you think the good, maybe one day Australian player come to play in Malaysia League is good for Australia? Yeah, but I think there's, uh, I'm not sure, is there any other Australian players at the moment? I don't think, I think Giancarlo is the only one, is it, at the moment? Which is a, which is a pity. Yeah, Michael Glasick uh, with Pahang also, of course. Uh, yeah, well, well, yeah, so that's right. And he was a former Central Coast Mariners. Uh, Michael is, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's with Pahang with Fundy, uh, somebody that we recommended. Obviously, Fundy, my ex-teammate and uh, blood brother. <laughs> so, yeah, look, uh, I think there should be more Australians. I mean, I mean, Australians are all over the world stage at the moment, very successful, not only in Asia, but in the Middle East and, and in Europe. So uh, I'm very surprised that uh, there's only two Australians playing in the MSL. It's probably the, probably the least that's ever maybe played in, in, in this competition. So I think teams should be looking in Australia because there's a lot of fabulous young players and, 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 and older players who are, who are ready to come here and do well. So you had a question again. Do you think which player, I think you know about Malaysia League, like, do you think which player that have a potential maybe one day to play in Australia League? Oh, it has to be... Uh, has to be uh, Johor Winger, I think you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, Arif Ayman. Uh, Arif, Arif for me is, uh, is, is the best player uh, in here, but not far behind him. It has to be Faisal Halim, and uh, they're probably two of the shortest players in the, in the, in the MSL, but the two most exciting players. Uh, they're quick, they're skillful, they've got tenacity, and they're born winners, and I love that. It's it's a kind of football that I love. It's the way we play, that I played, and uh, I love watching them play. And I'm, and they and they, you know, the crowds come and pay money to watch these kind of two players. For me, Faisal and uh, Arif are the two best uh, Malaysian players in Malaysia. And I tell you what, I'd love to see them in the A League. Uh, I know our club would be definitely interested in, in in one of them or either of them because they are very very good players. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.